Remember this? Sonic has had 5 Master Toy Partners within 20 years. And with that, we've been given a pretty interesting arrangement of the Sonic figures. Some good, and some... So in today's video, I'll break every Sonic figure that companies have put out, although some have made multiple variations of Sonic. So to keep it simple, for example, the 3-inch Sonic and the 10-inch Sonic from Jazzwares will be on the list, but things like the translucent Sonic figure will not. Sorry to those neon Sonic figure fans. So yeah, with the rules set, let's go ahead and go. Okay, so I got my list, so let's start from the beginning with... If you're not familiar with Rosaurus, this is the first Master Toy Partner for Sonic. And today we're going to focus on the 4-inch and 11-inch Sonic figure. Starting with the 4-inch Sonic, it's... I'm not going to say it's bad, I mean for its time it looks fine. Especially when you take into consideration that this is based off the artwork. I mean if you want a Sonic figure to be with you while you play Sonic Adventure, then... That's depressing. A tier. The 11-inch Sonic. Pretty much the same, I mean there's no change in articulation. I mean it can still move his hands, arms, and legs. So for that, A tier. Next we have... I know, I know, you're probably confused and saying this wasn't a Master Toy Partner, but hey, shut up. This little fellow is different since he's actually a bendy figure, but that honestly helps the looks of this figure because wow, the scope and painting on this is pretty good. I mean, for movement, he's probably the most limited, but hey, overall an amazing Sonic figure and still holds up today, S tier. Their Sonic toys are... Okay, I'll keep it above, they're pretty bad. And are just unironically amazing. The Sonic Adventure Sonic is so strange on looks, and is really bad with the articulation. I love it. B tier. This big boy right here is without a doubt better than the 5-inch figure. The looks improved, I mean he just looks like Sonic, which is something really weird to say. Hi B tier. Sonic Bendy figure. I honestly love and hate this figure. The sculpt is fine for such a small figure, but why have the shoes to the side? It will always just look so weird. I mean, what is this devious pose? C tier. Sonic X thumbs up Sonic. A tier looks really good. These two. Looks wise, they're very similar, but I really don't know what they were trying to do with these poses. He just looks like you bumped into him and now he's lecturing you on how you almost creased his shoe. And how can I even explain this? He looks like he was trying to kick but just gave up halfway through. D tier. The Sonic Super Poser. I was really fighting the urge to put this in S tier. I mean, it's the first version of a Super Poser, but I couldn't do it when there's companies like... Oh yes, Jazzwares. They've had their fair share of figures. Starting with their Super Sonic Super Poser, which is just a recolored Sonic. C tier. Translucent Sonic Super Poser. I know, I know, I said I'm not going to include figures like this, but S tier. Fake Super Sonic Super Poser. A much better figure than wherever that was. A tier. 5 inch Werehog. This looks incredible. The sculpt, the molding, and especially the articulation. It's all done perfectly here. A tier. 5 inch Sonic. It's pretty okay, it's just a Super Poser size down. B tier. Fix 5 inch Sonic. I like the Super Sonic Super Poser, this is much better than the last figure. A tier. 5 inch Classic Sonic. I don't know, but there's something off about this. I don't know, but it's still a decent Classic Sonic. B tier. 5 inch Classic and Modern Super Sonic figures. I would say off the bat, S tier. These look incredible. 3 inch Sonic. This figure is a classic. I mean, I'm pretty sure every Sonic fan in the early 2010s had this guy. I mean, it's just a great Sonic action figure. The articulation and the sculpting. The only bad thing there is to say is the painting, but otherwise, an S tier figure. 3 inch Werehog. I like the Sonic, this is a classic, but it's really just a downsized 5 inch Werehog. A tier. 3 inch Modern Super Sonic. What can I say? This is just legendary. Not just because the figure looks amazing, but it comes in a pack with all the Super Hedgehogs. S tier easily. Now, uh, these technically count as figures, and, um, now we finally got to it. The 10 inch figures. These look phenomenal. Especially Classic Sonic. He looks like he was pulled straight out of generations. Seriously, the scope on these is just S tier. <laughs> Tommy time. My favorite Master Toy Partner is finally here. So let's see. Sonic Boom Sonic. Though this figure might be lacking in articulation, it does look decently good. So for that, C tier. Running Sonic. I don't know if I should have put this on the list, seeing that he's virtually the same as the last, but just now he's supposed to be running. It's a fine toy, C tier. Sonic Vinyl Figure. This guy looks outstanding, really is one of the better looking Sonic Boom merchandise, though they could have easily put elbow joints. A tier. Running Sound Effects Figure. Not much to say, it's a pretty okay figure. C tier. 20th Anniversary Classic Sonic. In my opinion, this this looks better than the 3-inch Classic Sonic from Jazzwares. There's less errors than the other figure. B tier. The Collector Classic Sonic figure. Easily S tier. This guy looks really great and reminds me of Sonic Mania, which is my favorite modern style Classic Sonic. I mean, what can I say? He even comes with a stand for the ring and a figure. And he has a chili dog. Just amazing. Then lastly, Modern Sonic. It's pretty good looks wise. But the articulation is just B tier. 
The last monster toy partner on the list. Their bendy Sonic figure is really good. It looks really accurate and looks great. B tier. Now there's a lot of 2.5 inch Sonic figures. And I did include Sonic figures that were in different poses, so I'll just go through a landing round of these figures. Pointing Sonic B tier. Thumbs up Sonic B tier. Super Sonic A tier. Classic Sonic D tier. This pose sucks. Striking Sonic S tier. This is unique. Silly Dog Sonic E tier. The face sucks. Classic Super Sonic A tier. Peel out Sonic B tier. Neutral Classic Sonic A tier. Much better figure. Now let's move on to the 4 inch figures. Modern Sonic like the bendy figure is very accurate. And the articulation is much better than when Tomi offered. S tier. Modern Supersonic. Looks outstanding. A tier. Classic Sonic is decent, but the mouth is weird. B tier. Classic Laughing Sonic is really weird seeing as a figure, but also so cool, so B tier. And then lastly, the last 4 inch figure. Classic Super Sonic is just an A tier figure. Classic Sonic Collector's figure. In my opinion, this is worse than the Tomi one. Something about that one just felt more classic. C tier. Modern Sonic Collector's figure. This reminds me a lot of the 10 inch figure, but this is obviously much better. More slick and just a better figure. S tier. Sonic Movie 2 Sonic. The sculpt on this just adds a lot to this figure, but there is that glaring issue on the torso where a little part of it's not painted. Otherwise A tier. Sonic Movie 2 Super Sonic. It's pretty much the same as the last, but I do wonder why he's smiling. I'm pretty sure Super Sonic never smiled during the time he had. B tier. 2.5 inch Sonic and Super Sonic. They're just smaller versions of the 4 inch figure, but virtually no difference. C tier. Every 5 inch Sonic Prime figure. I'm including all of them as one entry because they're pretty much all the same. They all look amazing with every detail being on their designs, so they all go in A tier. I'm also doing the same thing with the 2.5 inch figures, which I'll put in B tier. Then lastly, the Sonic Movie 3 Sonic figure. Automatically S tier. On top of it looking so good, the articulation on him is incredible. It really resembles Jazzwares figures. I mean, he even has the torso turn. So yeah, with that being said, this is my Sonic Master Toy Partner figure tier list. If you liked the video, then consider subscribing. It's free and helps a lot. So yeah, with that being said, join the Discord, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.